I think the market the market has really changed a lot in the last just in the last two or three years as uh, analytics have matured and behind it artificial intelligence, which is not a major factor now but will be in a couple of years. That that has allowed I think a number of companies uh, mainly on the commercial side, but it is beginning to hit the residential side as well to be able to offer products, particularly in video, uh, but also in access control and identification that are creating an, let's call it, an easier road to integration uh, and an easier way to put a lot of different functions together. What that's doing is it means that larger companies who have the wherewithal to invest in both verification and monitoring on the monitoring side as well as those companies that are, that are product companies uh, who are, who've been fighting a low cost battle at the, bottom, at the bottom end, have been able to start putting together systems that are much easier for the end user and the integrator to be able to, to, be able to deal with. Uh, we've got some pressure coming up from the bottom with regard to, uh, I would say, entrance into the residential business that people have known about for years, but those companies are beginning to uh, uh, those companies are beginning to look at things like seriously monitoring uh, as their as their as a high end option. Uh, they and companies are out there. Independent monitoring companies can provide that for them now, uh, which they couldn't before. Uh, this presents some challenges for companies like like ADT or Vivint, who are integrated companies. But they, as you as you just seen, ADT has uh, has begun to integrate with some of these, some of these new, new entrants. And we think that there'll be, at, at the residential side, uh, a remaining group of, we'll call it, larger and also leading uh, regional companies that continue to do well, as well as the independent modern companies that are getting a lot of business, as well as Google and, and Amazon and, 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 and Apple, because they're big and they have the money and the wherewithal to, to be in the business. Uh, in, more interesting, I think, in, in, to, or I think more hidden under this, is the amount of business and the amount of growth we're beginning to see in the small to medium-sized business area. Doctors, lawyers, uh, doc, doctor, medical groups, um, accounting groups, things like that, uh, where we've got a range of companies ranging from Alarm.com uh, at the low end, providing platforms and uh, SureView, um, and other companies like that, uh, providing some integration at the high end. Obviously, uh, obviously, Brevo and uh, uh, Brevo has been doing this for for years, uh, trying to get companies in the mid-size area to get into the cloud. Uh, and now it seems to be happening. And and I, that seems to be again, we've we've gone from talking about this being a total market in small commercial from like four billion to like almost 20 billion now. And finally, at the top of the market, um, there's been a lot of shake out at the top of the market given you know, all the, the, the way, the, the way uh, Asian, uh, Asian uh, video companies have kind of taken price down to a given level. And yet we're still seeing companies like Axis do really, really well. They're doing well because the ability, again, to pick and choose and integrate is becoming really, really top drawer important for both the integrators and the specifiers who are working with the end users at the, at the enterprise level. Um, it's, there's, it's no accident that ADT picked up ASG, um, and I'm talking about the Aronson side of ASG. They've got both ASGs now. Um, it, is no, you know, it is no accident that Convergent continues to buy companies and, and get bigger because the trust factor and also the ability to analyze, figure out what had happened, what happened in the past, which could lead to what could happen in the future, and trying to prevent what could happen in the future, um, is now owned by some of these large companies. Uh, I think that again, Convergent, uh, surprisingly G4S, companies like that have spent a lot of money in being able to try to analyze what the anomalies that are that that go on at a in, in a big uh, in, at a large either a, a car dealership or for that matter critical infrastructure. Uh, so as long as the economy remains fairly robust, and we are seeing some we are seeing some stagnant 
stag stagnancy in the housing market right now. So that's that's one little bit of worry. Um, but at the uh, at, at the commercial end, uh, you know, we think that for the next at least couple of years, it's going to be a, a very strong market led by the ability uh, of these companies now to predict and and learn what is going on. What do you hope to uh, see or accomplish at this event? Um, at this event, you know, we're going to we're going to see everybody we can, from very large to very small. We like to see bleeding edge companies, as well as the companies that that, that have been around for, for forever. Um, one of the things we do want to see, uh, and we're not going to see enough of it here, are the uh, if you want to call it the uh, the public safety companies, the agency companies, the ones that. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of money that's been talked about for years in in public private partnerships involved in uh, uh, involved in protecting uh, protecting the citizenry and finding out what's going on uh, you know on the streets uh, and we're hoping to we're hoping to get some of the uh, very uh, leading edge companies to and talk to them at, at this one because again technology has made it a lot easier for them to provide, let's call it, provide services at a cost that can now be affor more affordable by, by cities, particularly when, when, when private entities uh, begin to chip in. Jeff, Jeff, is the street starting to take notice of the security piece and how Chinese manufacturers will tear up? I think that we are concerned about a number of our companies that uh, that are doing really well right now. That are that are product companies who do everything from uh, do everything from from scanners for logistics to uh, to video, who have a lot of product made abroad. And it isn't just the, the camera. Isn't just the camera. It's mainly the the chips, the boards, the things like that. Um, when you have 50% or 55% of your business coming from abroad, it can present some of a problem. So it is, you know, the, the security industry obviously would, would like to see a fairer balance of trade. On the other hand, there is a, there's, a, there's the other side to this, and that is the same thing that I think some farmers are finding out in the upper Midwest, that the tariff wars really probably don't end up helping a lot of people. And we are a little bit concerned, not terribly concerned, because demand is really strong right now for, for traditional video and access control and, 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 and let's call it scanners of the type that, uh, that Zebra would be making. But we have to remember that they also source a lot of product uh, in the Far East, and they also have a lot of customers that are, that are abroad as well.